Hi right, YouTube, it's Dodo8449. Um, really quick little update just to say what I've been doing. Um, now, when I first tried my train um, going around the helixes, uh, it was unable to pull um, those two coaches plus two of those, um, which means it could definitely not pull a three um, coach uh, train. Now that can be sorted by either buying a bigger, heavier loco, powerful local, which is what I am going to do, um, or you can do it the other way, which is what I decided to do as well, because it makes it generally easier, is to change the um, gradient on both of the um, helixes. Um, now then, one revolution, all the way around, drops it down to three inches at this point here. And the same goes on this side here, three inches. Now. Um, so what I am actually going to do is, as you can see, I've made the cut already. I'm going to remove this, this about eight inches of wood, then lift this up here, which will reduce the gradient on this one here up by about an inch. Um, that inch will mean that I'm able to um, lower the um, steepness of this gradient here, and it makes it a lot nicer run, and it means your trains aren't working as hard to get them up the hill. That is all I've done is I've just increased the um, height of the feet. Now, um, when I've actually finished, all this here will be um, attached down, screwed down properly, so it's all one solid lump, and it will be cut neatly square, and it will look neat. So that's um, what it will look like at the end. Um, uh, but yeah, this little update was just to say, basically, that um, I've been doing some work on the helixes. Um, I'm trying to make a very smooth track. Um, unfortunately, I've just found out I've got one damaged piece of track. Um, over here, if I go down to the correct height, focus in. Right next to that white paint, you can see the track isn't straight. If I move around the side, uh, you can see the track drops down at that point, right? Um, right there, the track drops down. Now, I'm hoping I won't have to replace that piece and I'll be able to very gently with a pair of pliers reshape it back. I think all that's happened is it got crushed very slightly before I had this, pushed down there and twisted outside. So I'm going to just reverse that. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this back to a nice shape. Unfortunately, um. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the uh, locos keep derailing, not the locos, the uh, coaches especially. And most of the wagons keep derailing at this point here in the track. Um, so I've got a little bit of work to fix that up first and get that moving. Um, other than that, um, I need to re-glue. I need to remove the glue, I should say, let me turn on the light. I need to remove the glue from here because at the moment it's all sagging and re-glue it. Um, I had to change it as um, uh, the um, I've altered the height of this board slightly. So... Um, Anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Um, and please subscribe to my channel.